Hello, my name is Giovanni Rodriguez from Week Editor Forums, and today we will be doing a random dice application. First, I made these six uh, PNGs in Blender, but you can go ahead and look in Google for dice's pictures. I will anyway put these six pictures on the under the description below, so you can use them as you wish. So first, open a, an empty Wick Editor application and just select all of them and drag and drop from your computer into the Wick Editor. I will go ahead and delete them from the um, from the screen. I will click on my project here and I will name my project. I will use 30 frames per second use a canvas of 500 pixels by 500 pixels okay then I will um, go to the assets library and I will select the first dice and click add to canvas then I will center this dice somewhere in the in the middle of the stage and I will press make a clip I will name this clip dice one and I will do the double click so I can enter to the dice context. So I will click here, number two, and I will press add to canvas for the number two. I will do the same thing for the three, four, and five. Okay, if you notice, um, we have frame one, we have the dice uh, side with the number one, and frame number two, for the number two and so on, number three, three, four, four, five, and six. So in this way, uh, when we have to program this uh, application, it will be easier by referencing um, the number of dots by the number of frames. So now let's go back to the project context by clicking project here, pressing the eyedropper and select that color is this uh, hexadecimal value here. We can just copy and paste it, copy, and then go to the editor settings and background colors and paste that number here, paste. Press X and then apply. So now we have the same color from the dice to the, to the background. So now we can go ahead and press shift and using this um, corner here we can reduce the size about here maybe 40% uh, 60% which is uh, 0.4 and we can go ahead and put in here let's create a title for, for our application let's um, use uh, white we can put random dices so now I will change the font family. I will select maybe permanent marker. So now I can increase this title here. So now I will I will copy and paste this dice here. Put it somewhat here, somewhere here, and then so here flip horizontal. There you have it. And then lastly, I will create a button. So I will copy and paste this um, text here and put uh, roll dices. So my button will be um, smaller so I will just reduce the size and I will convert this text to a button. Now that it, it is the button, um, it has a blue line uh, around it. So now I can do double click and I will enter to the context of the button. So I will click on a new layer, click a new frame, and now I will do a rectangle and I will put a value of 10 here to make it round. I will select here um, the same green and in here white. I 
got on there. So now I will need to maybe put another value for the weight. Maybe it's number uh, three. And there you have it, a nice button. So to give a good um, effect here, let's copy this um, button frames. And then for the mouse over, I will just increase the size of the button here a bit by selecting both of them, pressing shift, and then drag the corner like I did. Now, as you see, you will have this nice effect. And now, the same thing for the when you click it, maybe we reduce a little bit the size. And there you have it. Let's test that out. And now if I do a uh, mouse over, you will see this nice effect. And if you click on the button, you will see that this is actually pressing something, right? This is a good feedback for the user. So now let's program these dices. So first of all, I need to stop them somehow at the beginning. So I can go to each of them and at the default uh, script, we can just write this dot stop and I will do the same thing for the other dice paste and then if we start the application they don't they are not changing values anymore. So now whenever we click this button we want them to um, select a random value for each of them. So let's do that. So we have to name uh, the first dice is the name of the clip is dice one. The, f the second one is dice one underbar copy. I will rename that to be dice two. So I have now dice one and dice two. If we press the button now because we will put the code at the mouse click of the button. You just press mouse click here. We will do dice one to reference the first dice go to and stop and then we need a value from 1 to 6 so we have this random here button we can do use one of these three let's just use the random dot integer and then we can select from 1 to 6 because we only have six frames let me test this out play and click the button it's selecting a random number for the first dice I think this is working fine now let's do the same thing under the roll dice button click there and then click and mouse click and then just copy and paste this line of code and rename dice1 to dice2 let's play the application and I think this is working just fine. So another thing that we could do is to select another way to um, have these random numbers here. So uh, we have um, as well integer, float, and choice. Maybe we can select also choice. So if, if we make a list of sites, and we put all the sizes that we sites that we want. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just use choice instead of random integer. Let's do that. We can put random choice. And then it's expecting an array or list. So we can copy sites here and replace array by sites. Do the same thing for the second one, copy, paste, and I think we are good to go. Let's try this out, click, and this is working just fine. So now let's say that we want the first dice to just have um, even numbers and the second one to have odd numbers. So let's do that. So for that one, we will create, let's go to the mouse click. Um, and then we can say like um, even sites um, and then even sites.
height will be like 2, 4, and 6. And then we just copy and paste the same code and do the same thing for the up size. And we can put a year 1, 3, and 5. And then for the first dice, we use even sides here. And for the second one, we will replace sides by odd sides. Let's try this. So now this is even an even number, and this is an odd number. So every single time, they will be selecting even and odd. Pretty cool, huh?